Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Today, I'm going to share with you a recent purchase I made. Um, I'm sure many of you know uh, Liz over at Mrs. Cog's Crafts, and um, I don't know who doesn't follow her, but she makes some amazing, absolutely beautiful um, junk journals, and she recently displayed three Audrey Hepburn um, journals that she made. They're actually her magazines. And I was lucky enough to um, purchase Audrey Blue when she posted it. So <clears throat> the one thing I absolutely love is she's always sending some chamomile tea. So thank you, Liz. I will sip and be well. Um, I will have that in just a little bit. So I have not seen this yet. I have not unwrapped it. I It literally came in the mail yesterday. And um, I wanted to share this with all my viewers and my subscribers. Um, so I'm going to open it now. These are some extra goodies, so we'll look at the goodies first. Just without breaking and bending inside, I'll slip this off. How pretty. Very pretty. So <clears throat> she sent along some charms. Um, snowflake, sunflower, uh, the tree of life. Looks like a little gal with her May Day basket. Seashell. Um, cute little... Oh, cute. Looks like Cupid. And... Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, for hot, just in time for Halloween, a witch, a witch and her brew. So very cute. So those will <clears throat> be put to use. And some beautiful trims, lace trims, which are very pretty. This is very pretty. That one there. Very pretty. Thank you, Liz. Some nice doilies that she may have, she may have tea dyed these, um, the lighter color ones. And a fun, this is a fun paper. That's very cute. Well, that was, that was very thoughtful. Thank you. Okay, and we are going to try to save the sticker. And there she is. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, my, my. Oh, my, my. You know, whenever you see something <clears throat> on YouTube or on Instagram, um, you know, you have an idea of how how beautiful it is. Um, but this is just, this is just absolutely gorgeous. She just does such amazing work. I'm going to try not to get emotional. <laughs> But it's just, it's just beautiful. And she always has the, <clears throat> the prettiest sari silk. This is very pretty. 
and it almost looks like she stamped she stamped on this um, so you can see um and I just want to make sure that whoops I'm rolling over the bubble wrap make sure this is right in view and it is um, <clears throat> so these are these special special collector editions of books um, I have one of Marilyn Monroe <clears throat> and I wanted always wanted to make one but I'm almost tempted to contact Liz and send her the book and see if she would make me a custom order of the Marilyn Monroe one um, because she just does such an exceptional job. It's about her childhood. I actually saw a special. I've seen so many specials on Audrey Hepburn. And there's a beautiful one on Netflix um, that if you haven't seen it, it covers her life. And she is throughout it. Um, in, they interview her and she shares stories. Her son is on there, and I highly recommend it. She had um, the most amazing life. Um, not always the happiest, um, but her, they always say your past life experiences make you the person that you are. And she was just beautiful inside and out. She has beautiful stitching here. And I will later, when I have time, I will make my cup of chamomile tea and I will sit and read the articles. But I am just, I'm just overwhelmed I'm right now showing this and looking at it. This here says focus on the good. These are um, pictures from the 1960s. Uh, Gavinci gown. Uh, let's see. The third picture says picture three. So we have one, two, and four. So she, in one, she was in a spy movie in the 1960s. So this is why they're featuring the trench coat. In two, this was the Givenchy gown that she wore from um, Love Among Thieves. That was in 1987. You can see she's a bit older there. And then four... Um, this is from Funny Face. Beautiful papers. Beautiful papers. This is Mel and Audrey in the late 1950s. This is her dad. This was a this was a very um, sad story. Um, she longed. Her dad left when she was a little girl. She longed for her dad, and when she was finally reunited with him, it wasn't a it wasn't a good situation. Um, and I think that left a very large heartbreak, a very large scar on her heart for many, many her entire life. Here's a little. Eiffel Tower. Love that. So many places to actually journal and write my thoughts as well, which I love. Just gorgeous. Beautiful little tags. In this particular one, um, Liz had made two others in pinks. And um, after my, I made my blue and white journal, this one just really um, caught my eye. And I just, this is, 
I just love this image of Audrey Hepburn on the front. Look at this be beautiful Eiffel Tower material. Yes, Sean Connery with her. Beautiful. Another scene from Funny Face. Try not to get any glare on here. There's our sound of music. Such fun little, fun little images. Roman Holiday. I just watched Roman Holiday. Um, I love watching the the old movies um, on Amazon. Look at that. I really, I really like it because um, Liz didn't leave anything out. Whatever she cut out, she tucked in. So basically you have the entire magazine. Yes, yeah, Sabrina. first love was dance, um, ballet. She wanted to be a ballerina. And unfortunately, that didn't work out for her. Um, so she went into the acting. Liza Doolittle. More fun pockets. Very pretty, the stencil. Oh, this looks familiar. I have some of this material. I love it, though. Yes. Another scene from Sabrina. Love this with the movie titles. It's a very pretty tag. I recently watched Charade as well. That was a wonderful, wonderful movie. Never get tired of the oldies, all the classics. Never get tired of the classics. This is a beautiful um, page here with the stenciled tea dyed paper and these beautiful um, ribbons and lace crocheted. And look at this, very, this is definitely, I mean, Liz was really spot on with choosing the fabrics and the textures. Um, you know, Audrey Hepburn, I think, was the epitome of a, a woman and a movie star. Um, and she was delicate, tall but she was very delicate, very thin. Um, and I just think all of these beautiful ribbons and the satin, the lace and this trim, it just memorializes her in so many ways. 
This is beautiful fabric. This I love. It's it's almost like a, a little mini scrapbook. Um, and the few items that I have, um, I can tuck right in here or pin. Uh, there's the drama faces. I can pin in here as well. So this is a lot of fun. Love that. And I love these cloth pages, the canvas. Look at how cute she is there. There was a lot of things that, you know, in the documentary, Audrey said she didn't like about herself. Um, to me, she was just perfect. She was just absolutely perfect. Love her quotes. And here's one, you know, she, oh, I think sex is overrated. I don't have sex appeal, and I know it. I think that's very sad um, because she just was a, a beautiful woman. Just wonderful. There she is. That's where she felt at home when she was dancing. There she is. Some roles she liked and other roles she did not like. They, I know they did not want to cast her um, in Breakfast at Tiffany's. They thought she was all wrong for that part. And that is one of her most famous movies that she's known for. She just nailed it. Beautiful material. She is with her mother. There she is with her, her dad. She, I know she hated being away from her son as well on the movie sets. That's one reason why she um, stopped acting. She just couldn't bear to be away from her son. Um, I think that had a lot to do with her dad abandoning her as a young child. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just gorgeous papers. Roman holiday. Just 
So you can see, I mean, Audrey was tall. Her right here with a shoe size of 10 and a half. Audrey always felt that her feet were too big. Who would have known? There she is with UNICEF. She cared for those children deeply. That was... It was another true love of her. She wanted to make those children feel loved and welcomed and special. All about her. I'd come back after her. She had one husband that treated her terribly. Just absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, here's Tiffany Blue. And I'll have to add a few fun things. Maybe I could cut out some flowers. I have, I've had some special um, projects years ago. I had to buy Tiffany Blue for a gal's wedding. Um, so I will add some fun embellishments created from Tiffany Blue to add in here as well. And I think I might even have an old Tiffany's bag in my cellar. What a fabulous photo this is. I know I have some, I have a greeting card that I bought special with Audrey on it with a saying. I'll have to add that to the journal. Happiest, happy girls are the prettiest girls. There she is right there. Beautiful. Beautiful doily. There's the iconic photo of her. And here's her, my fair lady, with a beautiful journaling um, spot on the back. So there you have it. Um, I can't say enough about this. I'm going to look at it over and over and over again. Um, thank you, Liz, for producing, creating such an exquisite magazine. Um, if anyone out there is interested in creating uh, one of these books, Liz does have a course in her Etsy shop that you can purchase and you could create one of your own. So I may just have to do with that with my um, Marilyn Monroe. We'll have to see. But so that is that concludes today's, um, I guess I could call it a show and tell. Um, but I did want to share that this with everyone because it's just a amazing piece of work, amazing piece of art um, about an amazing woman. So thanks for joining in everyone and I will see you in my next video. Have a blessed day and get out and enjoy the beautiful weather. Alrighty, bye-bye.